For Solids of Revolution with wash or cross sections, we're going to look at page 426, number 34. We are given a region bounded by y equals 2 times the square root of x, y equals 2, and x equals 0. Step one in solving the problem is to draw our region and sketch a line segment perpendicular to the axis of revolution. And so that sketch will look something like this. Make sure you include your x and y axis in your sketch. y equals 2 square root of x. It's going to look something like this. y equals 2, the horizontal line. And of course, x equals 0 is the y-axis. Now, I happen to know that these two functions will intersect at x equals 1. Here's how I know that. If you set them equal to each other, 2 square root of x equals 2, the solution is, of course, x equals 1. Divide by 2, square it, x equals 1. So, that'll end up being my b, and of course my left-hand boundary here is going to be x equals 0, that'll be my a, when you find your interval uh, for your limits of integration, which is step two in this procedure. Now, when you draw your picture, make sure you indicate your axis of revolution, in this case the x-axis, and you're going to draw that line segment. That helps us identify our big radius, or our outside radius, and our small radius, which is our inside radius. Now, again, you can sketch the three-dimensional picture if you want. You all know my artistic skills, but it's going to look something like that. It's a funky shaped bowl. All the stuff in here is hollow. There's nothing in there. What we're talking about for our solid is what's created when you rotate this little plane figure here around the axis. So it's a funky shaped bowl with vertical sides. Okay, let's get down to business. The outer radius is going to be this distance here. We're going to call that big R, capital R, of X. And we're lucky because what's this distance? Well, that's just 2. Y equals 2. The inner radius, this distance here, little r of X, is equal to y, and in this case, y is determined by 2 square root of x. So the inside radius is determined by y square root of x. The outside radius is determined by y equals 2. Remember, when you cut this thing, when you slice it, your cross section looks like a little washer. There's a hole in it. And in order to find this area, we're going to do the outside circle minus the inside circle, which is this big radius minus the little radius. Okay, we are ready to set up our integral, which is step four in the process. The integral is going to be the same for every washer problem you do. V equals pi times the integral from A to B, in our case 0 to 1, big R of x squared minus little r of x squared now we're going to simplify this bad boy and 
and this is basically 4 minus 4x. And that should be a fairly simple integral. Antiderivative of 4 is 4x. Antiderivative of 4x is 2x squared. We are going to evaluate that, and it's times pi, remember, between 0 and 1. Okay, when you put when you put 1 in, you get 4 minus 2, which is 2. And when you put 0 in, you get 0. So our final value for the volume is 2 pi.